Hi everybody, today we'll be going over our webinar. The topic is how to protect your creative content, photos, videos, and music from loss with a QNAP NAS. Um, we're going to start off by talking about the common types of storage devices. So you see in this chart there's three types. The first one is the hard drives, which is our traditional hard drives and the ones that are built into your PC or laptop and the ones that you carry around, such as your USB disk or an external hard drive. Usually, in this case, they're always going to be around one. There's just one drive, and it connects to your computer with a USB cord. The capacity is limited, and it does not let you expand. And also, you don't have data protection features such as RAID. Next, we're going to talk about the DAS, which is um, the one in the middle, and it is short for Direct Attached Storage. And these comes in form factors, such as like a NAS, but in a more compact way. It usually comes around uh, one drive to up to four drives. So, you know, the biggest it can get is about four bays. And um, there are some well-known brands, such as GTEC or Lassie, that specializes in DAS. Um, people usually use this uh, if you're a photographer or a um, video editor. But um, there are some limitations to DAS, so I'm going to explain to that um, um, later with the QNAP NAS. So the storage capacity in a DAS is um, smaller because the most it can get is four bays. So, um, but the collaboration is a no. You can see on the chart and you can't file share and you can't access anywhere since it's directly attached to your computer. And for the third one is a NAS. Um, we're going to be specifically talking about our QNAP NAS. Um, these are connected to the network constantly so when you're away and um, outside of your house or at work uh, office you can access the files wherever you are and the storage capacity is very large so we have um, QNAP NASs ranging from one bay to up to you know um, big rack mounts like 24 bays so it's all up to you. it's very flexible so it all fulfills your needs by that um, there's also um, data protection features such as RAID so that's a big plus for people that um, the content is very um, important and uh, has to be secured at all times. So the NAS would be the great, um, uh, let's say, the replacement of a DAS. So we're going to be talking about the scenario of how it works. So in this scenario, let's say you're a photographer. You'll take pictures and they're actively saved onto the SD card inside the camera. So after the shot, you would then go back to your workstation. Uh, in this picture is a Mac. So um, when you import it, then you can edit it and tweak it. But before that, you will want to save a copy of the raw file just in case something happens to the file on, on your workstation. So you would then back it up to your NAS, the QNAP NAS over here. So um, if something does happen, you would have the original file to back up um, back up so you can um, use the original file whenever you want and after saving it onto the NAS you can start editing the file on your local disk so you can open up your Photoshop and start you know editing your photos and then um, after you finish you can then save that the final version onto the NAS and um, if let's say your Mac is running out of capacity you would then delete that file and you know, um, safe space. Um, aside from that, if you want more protection, you can then back it up to another external hard drive um, or the public cloud services like the Windows Azure, um, Rackspace, you have Dropbox, you have Google Drive, and there's more enterprise level storages out there that you can back up to. Um, this workflow scenario is pretty realistic and you can complete as you it's very complete, so you can make backups onto both your private cloud and the public cloud to prevent anything happening to your photos or your creative content. So um, another feature of the QNAP NAS is the QSync. So QSync is another way to protect your content from data loss. In a way, um, you can think of it as your private Dropbox. You use the QNAP NAS as a sync box so that it lets you drop all your files and whatever you want to sync and to that folder. 
and the QNAP will automatically um, sync it throughout your your devices such as your smartphone, your tablet that has QSync on it, which is access through the Q file app that's downloadable from um, the app stores from your iPhone or your iPad and Android devices. So let's say you were working on a PSD and Photoshop on your work computer and you would save it onto your local workstation. So under your workstation, when you after you download QSync from our website, you can um, you will see in this picture on the right hand side um, QSync. There's a folder that's um, it appears in your finder and you will drop it off into that folder. So it automatically sync. So this QSync is synced to the NAS at home. So you would have this file wherever you are, um, as long as you have this um, QSync, if it's in the QSync folder. So um, let's go to the next. Um, the sync files across the devices. So this is another, um, this is still the QSync. So since QSync is your private Dropbox, um, but it surpasses the capacity you get in Dropbox or Google Drive. So, um, so let's say in this picture there's a two-bay drive. Um, the max you can get is um, six terabytes per drive. So that'll be 12 terabytes. Um, in Google Drive or Dropbox, a year of one terabyte, I mean a month of one terabyte um, storage would be $10 a month. But when you surpass that, you will have to pay more. So in this case, it's more cost saving um, if you think of the QNAP as your own Dropbox. So um, there are a lot of features of this QSync technology. So um, whenever you add, edit, delete, or rename a file on one computer, it, the change applies to all other linked with the TurboNAS. So um, if something does happen, uh, let's say you have a file um, open and you did some editing that you didn't want to edit, but you accidentally saved it. So it actually syncs across all the platforms. So when you you view it at home or on your computer or, or on um, your iPhone, let's say um, the file is changed. But there is um, another feature that it lets you go back to your previous version. So it's called versioning control. And um, so QSync actually makes backups of all your files that are your you're manipulating or you're changing at all times. So that's a really good um, feature. So anybody who wants to do um, teamwork or share folders, um, teammates can actually work um, as, um, let's say, if one person edits off a file and makes a mistake, the manager, let's say, um, Bob, who owns the NAS, but then you can go back to your QTS on your browser and go under the Q file app. I mean Q file, um, Q state. I mean Q file. Yeah, and then um, you can just go back to the previous um, uh, version. Let's see in the next slide. I have a demo. So this is the QSync. Um, how it looks like. So it's a good example. Um, so first, I install the QSync app on my Mac station at work. I will log in and use my QNAP NAS credentials. So that is the QSync um, at work would be synced to the one saved. In, it will sync to the NAS at home. And during work, I would drag my work to that folder. And you can see I have some PowerPoints, videos, landing pages, backup. And after that, you can see in the middle, you will, this is my cell phone. And this is how I see the same, it's the same exact um, files and folders. So the next one would be opening it up on a browser. So if you open it from any browsers, you can see that the files are always synced. And wherever you are, either you don't have QSync installed, you can actually um, access the files wherever you are by logging into your uh, MyQNAP Cloud um, link. So if I type in the dedicated NAS address, so let's say my name is Stephanie and it will be stephanie.myqnatcloud.com, um, I can log into this page and then access the QSync folder. And then you can download a file or upload the file or edit it or rename it whatsoever. 
So um, this is very useful, as you can see. So what I talked about previously is about the versioning control. If you're editing your files with your colleagues, um, you could always revert back to the previous versions of the file. And let's say your teammate made a mistake in saving the file with wrong data or information, then you can see in this screenshot is my QTS and under my file station, um, I go to my QSync folder on the left and then you can see under, this is my photos um, folder and then you, if I go click on it, select and I can um, do click on more actions on top and then select previous versions and it will show all the versions it has saved um, so you can revert back very easily. Next, we're going to talk about the RAID protection on the QNAP NAS. Um, it's a form of protection and not a form of backup. So the QNAP NAS supports comprehensive RAID configurations. Based on how many drives the QNAP NAS has, you can choose from RAID 0, 1, 5, 6, 10, and hot spares. So um, the NAS would also send alerts when it detects some hard drive errors before an actual failure or an actual failure. So when it does happen, um, you can hot you can you can hot swap your your drives and you could switch out the failed drives and rebuild the new drives very easily. And this is I guess this is a very popular feature that all creative users would use because you know you don't want your files lost lost at any time. And next we're gonna talk about the expandable storage. Um, you can easily expand your capacity by replacing your current RAID configurations with bigger drives one by one without having to shut it down. Um, another way of expanding your storage would be adding drives as you go. So in a scenario where you have maybe um, a 4-bay drive, a uh, 4-bay um, NAS, and then each drive is 1 terabyte, and with a RAID 5 configured on it. So you can expand your capacity by purchasing four more three terabyte drives and replace it one by one. So how it works is that you would first rebuild one drive, take it out and put it in and it'll start rebuilding. And after it's done, you take out the second drive and you put in the second new drive and you put it in. And after it's done, um, you have to, so it will be completed in expanding. So that is one scenario. And um, in another case, if let's say you bought a four bay NAS, but um, if you don't want to spend too much money at first with um, a hard uh, with four hard drives, which is pretty expensive, so um, you would want to um, buy just one drive and put it in, and you can expand as you go. As it fills up, you can put in another drive. Um, you can make it um, if it's already if it's still one one bay uh, one drive, you can build it as it goes. So if it's RAID 0 at first, you can build to RAID 1 and then it goes up to 5, 6. So um, that's another way of expanding your storage, which is very useful for um, people with a lot of data. So that's it for this slide. Um, backup and disaster recovery. So there are plenty of ways to back up your data in case of any disasters. Um, such as NAS to NAS backups with rsync and with RTRR which is the QNAP's real-time remote replication service you could easily back up your NAS let's say from work to your home in real time or on a scheduled basis you can also easily back up your Macs to the time machine which saves you time and resources so that you don't have to purchase additional dedicated storage for time machine backups as they generally take up the whole drive. Um, another way to back up is to the cloud services, which is um, now a very common thing that um, users use. So now the QNAP can back up to many services, such as um, the ones over here. Sorry. You can see in that icon. And you can also go online and check how many um, other, other services that we um, accommodate. So after that, we're going to talk about sharing. So let's say I, I'm assuming that all of you guys are um, either using a lot of Photoshop 
um, AI and, you know, big files, photos, video production. So um, sharing is very easy and you guys probably um, share a lot. Um, so the fact that you can't do this with other devices such as your external hard drives or the DAS, the QNAP can let you share all your files in a very easy and secured way. The, this would be very convenient and when the file size get too large to email or you know to transfer let's say um, I could send the link of my movie you know um, on my NAS to share with my sister or my colleague and once she gets that dedicated link she can download off my QNAP um, right away um, you can also set a download uh, valid period so that is in cases such as having clients, you would want them to have access and downloading your works um, and files for maybe a week, and then the link would expire. So that's uh, another way to make it secured. <clears throat> you can also allow others to upload by creating new usernames and login credentials so that they could only read your files or upload files, or maybe they can't see particular folders on the NAS. And um, also, um, the, you can share files with encryption, so the files are safe and secured. And in this um, slide, you will see that when I access my QTS um, under the file station, you can click whatever you want. Um, I selected my show specials PDF, and I then click on the share button. And then you can then type in the email, the subject, and the message. And in the settings, you can set up um, how long you want this link to be valid for. Um, either you can send it like this, or you can just copy this link down there. And then um, you can just send it, send the link um, through your email or your messengers, Gchat or whatsoever. And the, the recipient will then can download just by clicking on the link. And on the right is how I usually share my files through my um, my iPhone it actually works on your Android as well but um, you can share by using this um, it's really easy you can just see the you can share the photo by email attachment or in the screenshot is for you know I can share my photos that's stored on the QNAP by sharing it to Facebook or Twitter and some mes messengers on the, the phone and now we're going to be talking about the access uh, re remote access. Um, you can easily have access to your files on the QNAP with mobile apps that QNAP has designed for all its users. All apps are free to download either in the Apple App Store, Google Play Store, um, or the Windows Phone Store. The uh, With the My QNAP Cloud, it publishes the QNAP NAS for you so that you don't need to remember the IP address or your long URL name. So you simply would um, do this configuration uh, during setting up your NAS. You can then you know, create your own dedicated name for your NAS. So when I type in www, I mean, um, let's say johnsmith.myqnapcloud.com, it will directly redirect um, you from any browsers to your QTS homepage. So that's pretty much how I log into um, all the phones and the tablets um, so that's pretty easy to use so I hope you guys would try it out and this is it for now uh, so if you have any questions please contact USA sales at qnap.com and thank you for listening and I hope you enjoyed uh, this presentation thank you